Okay, now in 2018, I did use up a few more things. So I'm gonna show you some things that I use like to prep my hair, to moisturize my hair and oils and things like that. But I wanted to show this to you. This is the coconut oil I had been using. And I went through two of these and I think in 2018, I bought another two, which I'm still going yeah. through. These oils here, I had for a good while. I bought them with me from North Carolina. They only like, um, let me see if the price is still on them. Nope. Okay, so. This is the vitamin E oil, and this is shea butter. I got it from the um, beauty supply store. I wouldn't really buy them again because I really don't believe they are exactly, okay, $1.99 is what I paid. Okay, the price is there. I don't know if you can see it. Because as you know, this is probably really processed. It's probably not even the um, authentic shea butter oil and vitamin E also. I wouldn't get that again. Something that I used to use on my face, I didn't see not one change in my face, but they say this is um, something great for anti-aging. I don't know. But then again, maybe that's why my face hasn't been aging. <laughs> okay, so anyway, this is the Now Solutions Pure and Natural Rose Hip Seed Oil. That's what they say. Right? So I was using this as a moisturizer on my face. And I don't know if I told you in the last video, there was a time when I would just put water on my face and use a moisturizer. Well, this was it. Okay, you can see it a little bit. I'm so sorry about the light, but I just want you guys to see me. And this is jojoba oil, which I was using in my hair. Also from Now Solutions. There you go. And this here I did like. This I got from a kid. I don't know if it was Curl Kid or Curl Box. But this is Naturals by Hask. I think you can find this. Because you know Hask you can find in the beauty supply store. So maybe you can. But this is the dry oil. Let me see. Does it have a scent? Weightless dry oil for dry to damage hair. I don't see anything indicating the fragrance. But I did like it. I think I... I think most of the stuff spilled on me. I think it did. Not on me, but you know, I think a lot of it went to waste. But I like this here. I think I'm going to keep this too. I think I'm going to peel the label off because this sure will be great. Look, look at this. Look. Mm -hmm. Look at it. Now I got a cute little bottle for something. Right? Okay. A lot of these bottles, I'm going to look through them because if I can come up with a reason to keep the bottle like this one. This one here was Jamaican mango and lime, Jamaican coast. I don't know if I bought this one or got it in the kit. See, you have so much stuff, you don't even know where you get it from. But I did like this one too, so this one was cool. And now I'm going to show you some other stuff. I think now I'll just show you some stuff that I put in my hair. You know, shampoos, conditioners, things like that. Yeah. Now, it's coming back to me now. These products right here, I did buy from Walmart. Right, and that um, wipe I showed you, I bought it at the same time it was on sale. And as you can see, it probably was on sale because the packaging has changed a lot. But I really, really like this stuff. Yes, this I can say I like. This I received from Sally's, um, becoming a Sally's member, whatever it is, whatever they have their program you pay five dollars for. And they were giving this out when you renewed. And I like this stuff, and I thought it was a liquid all the time. And then when I used it, it's not a liquid. It was a um cream and it's a leave-in conditioner it's um a mystic divine organ and manoi oil leave-in conditioner and i really like this stuff this surprised me now i don't know if you guys would want to use it but i use this i got this from uh, one of the last curl kits that i received this is dax for naturals it's a combing cream it's enriched with broccoli seed oil and this right here this stuff is this I used every bit of it. I really liked it. I'm not really one to check into the ingredients, but this stuff right here really helped me straighten out my 4C kinky, kinky hair at the end. It was so much easy for me to control my hair when I use this stuff right here. I am always, always going to keep this in my stash. Yes, the Cantu leave-in conditioner. And I'm sure I'm not the only one. I know that I'm not. This I really like and this I did a review on I have another piece of the another item from this line and I'm still using it I believe it mm, is it the gel hair gel the edge control I think but anyway I did a review on this I'll link it um 
in the cards right below here and um yeah okay no i think it's a gel i have but either way i'll link it so that you can see um what i really felt about it now these products here well they were okay and this is the true hydrating hair butter and i have the nourishing leave-in conditioner and i believe i have another um item from this line because i think it was three pieces but i didn't um can finish that one so I don't really, I don't think I've ever even seen a video here on Amazon, on Amazon, here on Amazon, on YouTube about these items here. But, um, I wasn't really impressed. So, yeah, and it has shea, honey, coconut, and mango. It, one thing I can say, it smelled good. Yeah, and what's going on with the top? Yeah, but it really smelled good. Now, this is something else I did a review on, a full review, and you can um, see because I'm going to leave the card right here. And this is the Maui Moisture Thickening Restore Bamboo Fibers. And the only thing I can say about this stuff was strong, child. Mm -hmm. I had three pieces of it, and I believe two of them were sent to me, and I purchased one. I think I purchased this one because I wanted to try the whole set together. So this is... The set, the shampoo and the conditioner. You see, I use them to the large drop. I have a habit of um, with shampoos and conditioners, and I get so bored with them, I'm ready to move on. But I try to use the whole thing, especially if I like it. If I don't, I'll put it to the side and um, use it to clean brushes or something or whatever. But this is some of the things that I've used in 2018. So stick with me. I have a few more. I know I'm just all over the place, but y'all stick with me. It's just the end of the year crazies. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have a few more things to show you when it comes to hair. And I'm going to show you this first. And this was the Joyco K-Pack Color Therapy Lois Luster Lock. And I was sent this to try, not even to review, but I've used it before they sent it to me. And I liked it then. I liked it when they sent it to me. This is a great, great leave-in product. As you can see, I cut the top off so I can get every single bit of it. You know how much product is in the bottom of these things and in the top? Yeah, if you really like something, go in there and get it because it's some stuff up in there. And this was sent, um, one of the kids, I can't remember, is the Kemet Biologics Moringa Tree Conditioning Ghee. I don't remember how I liked this, but I used all of it. So I guess I must have liked it. And this I received as a sample once one time when I um, ordered something from Kemet and they gave me the Alma and Olive Heavy Cream and it was just a little sample, but I did use it. It's a cute little jar. Look, I mean, just take the label off and use it for something else. It's what I'm going to do. And these products right here, I cannot see the name, but I think it was Karenique. I got both these and I believe they came from Curl Kit, but they need to change the labels because you see how it washes off. But this stuff right here, oh my goodness. It smells so good. Oh my gosh, you just want to put it all over your body and luxuriate. But this right here smells really good. If you've ever used it, then you know what I mean. I kept this right here, but I don't think I got a chance to use it. They sent this to me, the company, but I didn't use it because it, um, what do you call that? It leaked and I never got a chance to use it. But as you can see, it's coconut water and I was really excited to try it. It's a hydration oil. But one thing I remember, because I have other oils they sent me to the company and they, their oils are very, very light. So if you want to try some, get some. This here, I don't remember who sent this to me, but somebody sent it to I'm thinking this had to come from Pinch Me. Yeah, I think it was. And this is some samples here and I did like these yeah sometimes with the shampoo you think you never get enough but sometimes you do so you treat your hair first then you shampoo your hair and then it's a conditioner and this is dark and lovely it's a damage slayer it's new texture bond so yes I did like these this was also sent to me by Joyco and yes I did use it and no I ain't a blonde but yes, I did use it because I liked it. I didn't, I guess if you're blonde, it's supposed to brighten your hair. My hair, of course, is not blonde, but I have some gray. So I don't know if it did anything to my hair, but if they sent it to me. It was shampoo and conditioner with a mask. So I use it down to the last drop. So I guess I must have liked it because I didn't put it to the side. Y'all. And they sent me a really cute cup too. Now I have some cosmetic items to show you and 
don't laugh, but I don't have a lot of cosmetic items because, like I said, I don't wear makeup that much to use anything. When I watch a video and someone says, oh, I hit pan, I'm like, oh, my goodness. <laughs> but I got this here. This is the e.l.f. I don't know what this is called, but it's by e.l.f. And um, it's gone. I really did like this stuff. And I like this one, too, which surprised me. This is the e.l.f. Mineral Infused Face Primer. And I like that, too. I have another one that I'm using but you know it's pretty cool it's not bad i think i got this as a sample so i, don't, I know it's not the full size but this is the l'oreal um oh my goodness it's the magic perfecting well the words are off but it's some kind of base and i remember using this i know i got this as a sample with something so i used all that up it's a base that i remember and then I have this one here, too. I wanted to show you. If you guys ever get a chance to use Aquafina um, products for your lips, it's one in the blue um, container. But it's not this one. But they come in a set. So if you see this, pick up the Aquafina because it's really nice. And then I do have something that's going to surprise you because I did use a NYX Auto Eyebrow Pencil, which... At one point, I thought I was going to really, really like until I got into something else. And this color here is dark brown. And then I started using this, and I did like this. This is the Ultra Slim Brow Pencil. Yeah, which I have another one. And this one also does it. Yeah. These kept breaking on me. They're so fine, if you can see. They kept breaking on me. So I just switched to something else. And this I had for a while, but I was using it pretty much every day at that time. This is the CoverGirl Intensify Me. This is the liquid liner. It's an intense black. And you see how thick the, um, let's see. Yeah, so if you like a thick line and you need it for something that needs a thick line, this would be great for you. And it held up pretty good. I liked it. Okay. And these, I don't know if I used them all. They may have dried out. But these are the Wet n Wild Mega Liners. And I have five. I don't know what shade this is. This may be something like black, black brown. But it's the number 882. I think that was back in the, time, in the day when they just put the number on it without a color. Because this one here is 861, but they call it black. So <laughs> they finally started putting some numbers on these like, names. And this one is A62, A in Dingo Blue. And this was really pretty. But I think it dried out on me. Let me see. Because I did have them for quite some time. Yeah, see? It dried out. So, in essence, it's empty. And this one here is the Black A661. All right? So, that was A82. And then this one here was A65. This was brown. I really like this one here. As a matter of fact... I would get these two because they performed well. They they did their job, right? Because it was just lining and the liner did show up. And I like the blue because the blue is really, really pretty. And the brown, if you're looking for something not too intense like black. So that worked very, very well. And I believe this may be like a black brown. So you may like this here. Okay, so those are my empties for 2018. Listen, I know I was all over the place, but I'm trying to get this video done because I want to share with you some things that I've used. But I'm going to go now because I'm hungry and I want to get something to eat. But I am so eager for 2019 because there's some things that I want to show you guys. And I'm hoping that I'll get a chance to do that the way that I want to do it because you've been asking me to do it. And that's with that makeup. Girl, put some makeup on in front of the camera so we can see what you doing <laughs> okay i'll do that because that'd be I'll probably be most of the time when i get a chance to wear this makeup that i have because i like buying it but i have to chill out because i don't wear it that much and then when i do it's usually something really light nothing you know overboard but i still like to play in makeup from time to time like tonight after i take this off i may play in some things tonight and have some fun and it would be nice to record it but i can't do it just yet but hopefully at the top of the year the very top of the year i'll be able to now, I'm going to end this video. So, I want to say to you guys, thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. And I want you to know that I want you to share and spread love. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next video. And like I said before, subscribe to my channel for more me.